I had to throw in one super herb. This is super food, super body, but I had to throw in one super herb because, I mean, this one is just ridiculous. So this is known as the mushroom of immortality. Um, Ganoderma lucidum is the scientific name, and this is the reishi mushroom. Okay, so the reishi mushroom is an immune system modulator. Okay, so what does that mean? Immune system modulator. That means, so right now we're dealing with the people with a lot of overactive immune system. They have um, chronic inflammation and hyperactive immune systems. This helps to regulate that and bring that down if need be. But also if your immune system is not working properly, if it's running low, like if somebody's dealing with a particular sickness, it helps to bring that up. So it doesn't get you out of balance. Because some things, you take certain foods and they're trying to ramp up your immune system and you don't even need that. It can actually put you out of balance. Okay, so this food has a particular intelligence and one particular study showed that it boosts your NK cell, which is your natural killer cells, up to 300%. So your natural killer cells are basically the, the macrophages and the white blood cells that create immune system weapons to take out whatever's going on with you. So if you're dealing with anything from herpes to um, the common cold, it creates the weapons to go after that particular pathogen. All right, it's very powerful. And you've seen this a couple of times on the polysaccharides. So does anybody know what polysaccharides are? Of course you do. <laughs> so I just said it a minute ago. Let's hear it. What is it? Long chain sugars. You got it. So saccharide, the sugars, poly means many. Okay, these are long chain sugars. What we've been accustomed to in our lives recently are very, very short, simple sugars every day. All right. Now this is so huge, I don't even know how to put this to words. How your cells communicate with each other is through polysaccharides, sugars. For many years it was thought that the amino acids was how the cells were communicating with each other, but when they zoomed in a bit further, they found that all the amino acids, all the proteins had these other little molecules around all of them, which were the polysaccharides. So, but where are we getting these polysaccharides in our diet? You know, we're not. We've been exposed to maybe two, which is, you know, sucrose, fructose, and then um, maybe lactose, which is a milk sugar. There's a whole other class that really has some powerful effects on the body once you know, know what they are. And of course, um, it's a very powerful, rich source of antioxidants, in particular beta-glucans. All right, beta-glucans. Now these, this is what's responsible for the natural killer cells. Um, really being able to get amped up and take out any type of nefarious activity in your system. Okay, the beta-glucans are super powerful. Why I had to talk about this one is that the reishi mushroom has what are known as triterpenes, in particular ganoderic acid. And this is a nervous system. It enhances your nervous system. It enhances your liver function. But why I put this on here, and I smile every time I talk about it, many people don't know this, but triterpenes actually um, are precursors to steroid hormones, okay? So these are the things that help to build your body up and keep you young, all right? But we know about it from like Barry Bonds and that whole thing, all right? Taking it in some isolated chemicals, but Rishi, again, the Taoists, I mean, they have documentation of people living very, very long time, which I'll talk about in a second. And this is one of the main constituents of their diet every day. Also organic germanium, one of the only sources that has a nice concentration of germanium. Um, it's antiviral, anti-cancer, antihistamine, and the DNA protection. And as mentioned, you know, the adaptogens, this is where it's at. 